Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're back with another episode of Europa Universalis for England. Just about called this Crusader Kings 2. That would have been ridiculous. Oh, when we last left off, we thoroughly destroyed Scotland, despite it being a frustrating process. Um, I do understand that I didn't have the proper cause to make Scotland a vassal. However, I didn't have the proper cause belly to make these two guys vassals, and that didn't seem to be a problem. So, that's kind of where I'm getting the frustration out, you know? We'll just drop that down a little bit, so we can save some cash, but we still need it relatively high because of the Scots. <clears throat> Fortunately, the Royal Army has definitely taken a beating. Thankfully, our cavalry remains. It's called Cardinals sometime soon. But we'll let that happen. Naturally. There's no need to involve myself too heavily in church affairs. I do. I may need to keep my military at full funding. Aw, oh, thanks to my vassals. taxed to the absolute minimum. So, we'll just be sitting here doing the old rebel chasing. There we go. Head on back up to fight. What do we have here? These guys are Irish Patriots. Should take him a little while to tear that fort down, so we'll be able to recoup some of our losses and upgrade our fighting men. Now, because this is England, we're going to go with longbows. Usually, I go with men-at-arms, but come on. The English longbow. We have a vacancy in the Bishop's Seat of London. There's a churchman from a rich family who has made an offer. If we approve and back his election to the position, we will gain a large contribution to our coffers. Some more devout people claim that this is a sin called simony, I think. But what do they know? We need the money. Yeah, we need the money. Give me 50 gold. Alright, well, I guess I lost that vassal, but that's okay, because these guys of Munster here will be a vassal at <clears throat> one point, as soon as my um, aggressive expansion and sure, using a royal marriage as a pretext for war with the Scots wears off. I like that little touch, that it degrades over time and it shows you. I'm sure that it degraded over time before. But, um, you know, that's just a nice little, <clears throat> a nice little thing. There we go, we'll get a fort defense, because for the conceivable future, we'll be on defense. And slowly, what we got there? Yeah, I think we're going to want to get, we should already have colonial ventures. I thought I did that. Anyway, yes, that will be the first one we go for, I think. Do we need... Uh, yeah, at this stage, we'll dump it into exploration. And then we'll go with the... Allowing the training of explorers, and then we can focus on tech. And getting ships out into the water to scout things. Did we 
pick it up. Nope, already half a core. Already cored. So we're just coring these guys. Perfect. Yes, the Scots are indeed outraged with me, which is fine. We'll, <clears throat> we'll be able to clean them up. Uh, General Stephen Davies, the Irish commander. I don't think I can get a free leader, so we won't bother. Disputed succession in Brittany. Well, they're outraged with my Scottish conquest too, but I have a feeling that's about it. Oh, no. Norway is too. I guess I could set Scotland as a, um, what's it's called? A rival. Yay! Slowly but surely, people are accepting the fact that we're taking over Scotland. And we've got the openings for a new diplomatic marriage or relations with someone. Who could that be? We could go with Portugal. Um, but I'm leaning towards Austria. See, how do the Portuguese think of us? Hmm. Because Austria will be a good counterweight to France. Portugal, not so much. They'd be a counterweight to Castile, and I really don't think I'll need a counterweight to Castile. Not initially anyway, but as England, it's always good to have friends that'll fight France. So let's start working on Austria. The Habsburg Steward Alliance. In feudal kingdoms, two castes within society held great power the nobility and the clergy. Now it turns out, a baron in the local monastery of his fife are bickering about who owns a rather large piece of land. These days, the royal court is swamped with people yammering about divine right, the nobles claiming their divine right to rule the land, and the clergy asserting their position as the representative of, gods on, of God on earth. The whole situation is growing rather unstable. The baron in question is inciting the other nobles against the clergy and questioning their right to hold any sort of temporal property. The priory of the monastery has brought in the archbishop on his side, who in turn threatens to go straight to Rome should you decide to side with the nobles. Now, what shall we do, my liege? Jesus lived among beggars and fishermen. Why don't you? Surely we do, we do not need a noble uprising. So, Jesus lived with fishermen. Alright, we'll go ahead and get Vassalai Scotland now. Should have done that first. Oh well. Lessons learned. And I mean, really, it's not going to affect things that much. We've got the cores on the land we need cores on. Thankfully, Scottish is an accepted culture for the English, so that's going to be helpful. And yeah, we'll just swallow up the rest of it. Yay! That should take care of my overextension. Alright, yep, no more overextension. We're sitting at plus one stability, and war exhaustion's going down. Things are looking up. Back. Things are looking so up that we can look to increasing our manpower pool because that's going to be very much needed. So let's see, we'll go there, 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 and that'll be good for now. Building up a military base in the south of England. Nineteen thousand men. We'll get there slowly, don't worry guys. How's our trade looking? 
Still got the power? Aw, oh, yeah. We're shifting trade down. Norway's obviously the most powerful up there, but we'll be changing that. As I can get uh, markets and trade docks and things. <laughs> trade docks, just docks. Although they help with trade, they are just docks. We can get our trade power up in the north. And then perhaps move my fleet further west once we um, discover things. Yep. Well, I guess with the money I can put down another one of these, can't I? Yorkshire, there we go. Known for their puddings. Yorkshire puddings are delicious. All right. Ooh, ooh, monster. <laughs> Should we claim your throne too? I don't think so. <laughs> We're the only one with a royal marriage with him, so... That's fine. Well, Scotland's de dealing with peasant revolutions. And they're not able to get their... ...incredibly tiny army to the south, and even if they could, they wouldn't be able to... ...put an end to the rebellion. Political crises may occur from time to time. They often involve a conflict between the ruler and the parliament, unrest among the nobility, or conflicts of interest between the nobility and the merchants or religious leaders. Given time, a solution will present itself. Reputation isn't everything. Given time. So we can just do this. There we go. Well, our administration tech is certainly taking a beating with all of that. Yay! Scotland's finally decided we're no threat. Sure. Alright, we're done improving our relations with Austria. So let's see. Austria, how about a royal marriage, eh? Not gonna happen? Okay. Well, I'm sure your opinion of me will improve over time. Let's actually improve relations with you. And a truce with Scotland, when does that expire? Da, 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 da. Subjugation cause a belly, vassalize Scotland. I mean, surely we do, we do have a truce with them, right? They're allied with Sweden now, are you? I think you were always allied with Sweden, weren't you? Really? We don't... ...have a royal marriage. I would have figured that, um... ...we would have had a, uh, truce for a couple of years. But apparently not. Good news! Once we get our losses taken care of, and our manpower pool goes back to a decent number, then we'll just uh, go after the Scots and make them a vassal. Whatever's left of them. And then that, that pretty much just that ends any concerns we've got about forming United Kingdom. We'll get Scotland in, we'll get the rest of the Irish in, and we'll have the British superpower destined to conquer the world. Let's get there. Kind of leaving the Welsh out. Well, we got Cornwall built one, so... We'll get the Welsh later. Kind of a long distance war considering the uh, the time. I 
And how's old Henry doing? 57. He should be... He should be getting close to uh, ending his reign, I hope. Heretics. Munster's got it. All taken care of. Fully, the royal army is fully repaired. Restocked on men. Good governance would sometimes prompt the nobility and the businessmen of the realm to donate cash to the treasury out of pure patriotism or in exchange for the sales or transfers of honorary titles and positions. <coughs> oh. Ugh, wrong pipe. We're gonna get the prestige. <coughs> I hate that when you don't. Oh. You know what? Give me a few minutes. Okay, that feels better. I hate it when um, you're drinking a, a very refreshing beverage and it decides to take a tour of your lungs instead of, um, you know, go to your gut. Production efficiency, eh? Sold. We're still making bank? Aw, oh, yeah. Granted, not a lot, but, um... How's the old revolt risks, anyway? I think we'd be safe to drop our military funding down. Make some more money. I still want to keep it up so that, you know, troops replenish and... We're not stuck with a Irish army of 6,000 or 7,000 men. Morgan. Ah. See that time, I drank correctly. No lung exploration, which is good. Fluids don't belong in the lungs. Medical tip from me. Ooh, look, look at that. Austria may be losing. Oh, well, no, Tai, I think, goes to the sitting emperor, so... Yeah. Perhaps not. Now, let's take a look and see who we can bug to get, um... Really, it's Austria, but I'd, I'd rather not poke that bear. We're not going to worry about it. Our subjects have taken to telling tales and legends about Henry IV. The legend says that in England's darkest hour, he will return to our nation and deliver it from evil. Regardless of the truth of that statement, we could use this in our propaganda. I love a good story. Yeah. We need to recover a lot of prestige. We've lost quite a bit of it, so... We shall endeavor to uh, to get that up there. It's a necessity. All right. So basically, um, for this episode, you know, now that we're well into it, I might as well go over what the plan is: build up the army, build up the army, build up England. We'll go after Scotland next one, and then from there we'll be set. All set for exploring the world. In fact, if we can get the um, adventurers in now, or the explorers in, <clears throat> we can start. Comments. Scotland entered a military coalition against us, so we're going to have to put off the war for a while. I imagine there's going to be other members in that. Uh, I'll leave it at uh, we're going to have... I'll leave it at zero for now. We'll do that. And then how many ships can I have? Ooh, I'm nowhere near my force limit. Okay, that's good. 
will get an exploration fleet. Oh, yeah. It should be three barks. Should be able to get me to the new world. Now, of course, discovering the new world is all well and great, um, but I won't have the colonial range to make it there just yet. Sure, it is taking a while to get 20 gold. Almost there. I guess we can build this in London, then it'll be quicker. There we go. That's it. There. And we shall call this the Royal Exploration Squadron. Perfect. Timing couldn't be better. We'll snag our explorers. Come on, almost there. Wonderful. The Grace Dew, the Gorge of Malice and the Crescent. These are the ships that will go down in the history books. Sailing from London. Well, England. Cornwall. Uh, yes, thank you. It's perfect. Now we can start working on getting our economy stabilized. Need the 50 diplomatic points to venture forth in the world and, and see what we can get. You can see our manpower is going up. That's great news. And the first expansion pack for... Yeah, we might as well talk about this, seeing as how we're going to be doing some colonial exploration. The first expansion pack for EU4 has been announced. I think it's coming in December. And they are doing a new thing for Paradox. Completely new thing. Um, they will have it so that the new world will, or could be, this is entirely optional. You can, of course, play with good old-fashioned North and South America and the Caribbean. However, in this expansion, they will make it so that the new world can be entirely randomized. We want an explorer. Jeremy Frobisher, sitting behind the wheel of the Grace Dieu, sails west. Now, do we want to go north, or do we want to go that way? I think... Hmm, that is a good question. I mean, coming from Cornwall, I imagine we'll just go straight this way. Head west, lads. Uh, so yeah, so the entire new world can be randomized. I've seen some screenshots on the Paradox forums of a couple of land masses, and it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for it. Yeah, we are definitely going to have to watch the attrition ratings on the ships. Lately, we've been looking for painters or artists to try to adequately capture the glory of our monarch. As it happens, a painter offered his services to us just this morning. Uh, well, we can't really afford that. Damn. We're gonna have to decline his services. Okay. And there we have it. The coast of Newfoundland. Beothuk has been discovered by the English. Now we will quickly run home. Oh, 
Oh, I hope you make it. Uh, formalize weights, scales, and or scales, weights, and measures. Yes. Oh, I don't know if they're gonna make it. Oh dear. No. Oh. Will the scourge of malice survive? It's made it to the Celtic Sea. I think it will. And Jeremy Frobisher, switching his flagship to the scourge of malice, has returned home. Victorious explorer, extraordinaire, with the knowledge of Beothuk. And of course, we can't. At all. <clears throat> well out of our colonial range, but we know of these lands to the west, and the English will spread themselves to the glorious and wonderful islands of Newfoundland. Off the coast of North America. I think that is going to be a good place to leave it, so... Uh, next time we'll be getting Scotland as a, or as a vassal, cleaning up the Irish, and um, building up for a push to the west. So thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.